The following contest, a one fall tag team, no disqualification grudge match with a 60 minute time limit. Your official, Rick Knox. Introducing first. He makes his way to the ring from Bellefontaine, Ohio. Weighing 207 pounds, he is the Callahan Death Machine, Sammy Callahan. Callahan Death Machine, the worldwide desperado. He's got his game face on. He sees this as his opportunity to take out Penta El Cerro Miedo, his nemesis and even more so now that Penta holds the gold. You know what Penta El Cerro Miedo means in English? It means pentagram the bullshit. And uh, that's, I t Sammy told me that before the match and I trust him. I bet he did. I bet he, I've heard him say it. Cerro Mierda. I've heard it, I've heard it. But you know what? Show some respect for our champion. I got no respect for anybody unless they deserve it. And I'm looking at a guy right there that deserves the ultimate respect. That is the true PCW heavyweight champion, Sammy Callahan. You know what I say to that? Thumbs up, thumbs down. His tag team partner makes his way to the ring from Slam Town. Weighing 210 pounds, he is a former PCW Ultra heavyweight champion, Johnny Ultra! A reaction as cold as the other side of the pillow for that man, one of only three men to hold the PCW Ultra heavyweight title, and that because of his actions when we last saw him at Refuse to Lose after losing the title in an incredible title match with the current champ now, Penta El Cerro Miedo. What are you cheap shot at the champ? What are you talking about? Earlier tonight, you talk about how Douglas James will do anything he can to win, anything he can. And then when Johnny Ultra hits a dude in the nuts, oh, it's a cheap shot. He's doing anything he can to uh, win, Todd. It was after the match. He was awarding the title to Pentel Ceramiedo, or so we thought. And yes, it was very much a cheap shot. It was the definition of a cheap shot. Get a dictionary, Todd. Their opponents. Apparently, Johnny Ultra has got something to say. Big surprise. Before we get to this dream match, I got a little something to say. You see this? This. This. All of you here tonight are my problem with PCW. I came here and everyone was like, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Five, making up fancy names for me. I don't have to shut up because I got a microphone. And you will listen to every damn word I say, mullet face. You all think that I'm one of you because I grew up 10 minutes away from here. Well, I'm not from San Pedro. 
I grew up in Palos Verdes. Much nicer there. And beavers wouldn't be caught dead in San Pedro. We only came down here to throw our trash away. You haven't heard about San Pedro. So this is San Pedro! San Pedro, more like San Dumbass! These two guys do not like each other, Todd. Now the only glue keeping this you, this like unity together is their hatred saying, for Penta. See, we really don't know where we are from time to time because me and Johnny, whatever he wants to call himself this week, we are big time national television wrestling stars. Whether it be Penta, whether it be Muda, we really don't care. Right now, we're going to deal with this, and then I'm going to deal with you later. <laughs> Combustible relationship, but keep them. They got, we got business plenty of money in Palace Verdes. These two are not fighting each other. They Before fight we start together. this match, I want all of you to give me a big thank you because this right here is the house that Johnny built. This is the house that Johnny and Sammy built. Because this is the house that Johnny and Sammy built. We are going to give you guys something extra special. So if that moron would quit clapping his hands, reach into his pocket, and pull out your camera. You guys, get on the Instagram. Get on Facebook Live. You, sir, pull out a Kleenex to dry your girlfriend's panties. Because we are about to give you the most magical moment in the history of San Pedro. A little something we call... Sammy and Johnny's 10 minute pose. 10 minutes? Sure seems like they're stalling to me, Christian Cole. 10 minutes is awesome. They know what's coming down the pipeline. We're only nine seconds into this pose. Take your 10 minute pose and shove it. Now is this is how you make an interest. Whoever in, entrance, Nina Alex Strauss, the, the guitarist, the current guitarist for the legendary the Alice legendary Cooper playing the champ. Pedro Cerro Mieto and the legendary Muda. great Muda to the ring. What a moment. And I'm just sitting back and watching the legend Great Muda and the future legend, Penta El Cerro Miedo. 
We are in store for something special here in this main event. You hear the crowd erupt there for the champ. The only two-time PCW Ultra Heavyweight Champion, Pentel Cerro Mieto. And you want to talk about champions, how about his partner, the Great Muda, eight-time world champion when you factor in IWGP All Japan Triple Crown and the NWA World Heavyweight title. Won that title from the icon Sting back in the day. What a team, Muda, Penta, two of the great wrestling traditions in the world of Mexican Lucha Libre and Japanese Strong Style culminating here. A celebration of pro wrestling, a celebration of these two greats at Anniversary 2K18. So impressive is the ring garb of the great Muda. And what a partner for Muda to come here to PCW Ultra and join up with the PCW Ultra Heavyweight Champion, Penta El Cerro Miero. Ladies and gentlemen, their opponents, introducing first, he is the PCW Ultra Heavyweight Champion, Penta El Cerro Miero. His tag team partner, he is the greatest professional wrestler to ever step foot out of Japan. He is the legendary Great Muta. There you see that legendary mist and now Ultra and Callahan getting the jump on Cerro Mieto and the Great Muta. Ultra all over Muda on the outside, and more blatant disrespect by these two. Why is it disrespectful that Johnny Ultra and Sammy Callahan go right after their opponents? They're looking for a victory here, Todd. It's not disrespectful, it's great strategy. In what might be the great Muda's final US matchup, not even allowing him to get that response from the crowd, just jumping all over the legend. And uh, expect some leniency from the official here because it's such a high profile matchup. One that has garnered interest from the multitudes around the world. We want to see action, we want to see a winner here. There's a lot of bad blood and Muda finds himself right in the middle of it. Reversal by the great Muda, Ultra tastes the rail on the outside. Oof. Hard shot, hard right hand by Sammy. So many dynamics in this match. Although it's a tag team match, so many implications for the heavyweight championship here at PCW Ultra. Sammy Callahan challenging in the past. Johnny Ultra, a former PCW heavyweight champion. And of course, Penta El Cerro Miero, the current PCW heavyweight champion. So many storylines all within this one match. Muda has faced the greats in Japan and U.S. greats as well. Muda, legendary battles with the likes of Sting, Ric Flair, even the Hulkster himself. But I don't know if he's found, been in the battle anybody, with anybody as aggressive and as brash as Callahan and Ultra. Nice counter there by the champ, Cerro Mieto on the outside. And this thing hasn't sniffed the ring, partner. Oh, Muda getting that kick in the midsection of Johnny Ultra. I once watched Muda during a match with Hulk Hogan run all the way up a 300 foot ramp and sprint back down just to clothesline Hulk Hogan back into the ring. The intensity and striking of Muda will never be compared to anyone else in this industry. Great Muda, such an icon. Remember when he first debuted here in the States with Gary Hart as his manager, he was just so unique, almost unnerving. An absolute icon that has reinvented himself time and time again over the years. But this type of matchup where anything goes on the outside certainly seems to play into the wheelhouse of Callahan and Ultra. Callahan barking orders on the outside and they just sent the champion right into that chair. Seems as if Ultra and Callahan might have taken some lessons from that all violence is legal carnage that we saw out of the tag team champs war beasts earlier. 
And now a Matt Windy, you think he'd oh, oh, spitting on him. Oh, my God. And you know what? I don't, I don't condone that. You cannot spit on a legend like the great Muda. Callahan mentioned that he has a lot of respect for Muda, but he will hurt the legend to take out his ultimate prize, that being Pentel Ceromieto and Johnny Ultra and Callahan remain in the driver's seat in this main event matchup that has turned into really a tornado-type tag team matchup. And how, how long are we into this match, partner? Five, six minutes, the entire match taking place on the outside of the ring. Yeah, because of a sneak attack by Ultra and Callahan right at the end of the introduction. A sneak a attack? Oh, maybe now, oh, I thought we were going to maybe get some more of that 10-minute pose going for a victory lap, but they run right into the boots of Penta and Muta. You can feel in the building the anticipation all night to watch the great legend, the great Muta, return to the United States. As my partner Todd Kennelly alluded to earlier, it could be his last match here in the States. What an honor it is to have him here, but he's not just here to make an appearance. He is here to help Penta put these two guys down. No doubt about it, and Pentel Ceromieto and the legendary Great Muda have turned the tide in this thing now, and perhaps Rick Knox can regain some control. Got two men in, two men out, so now standard tag team fair, oh although and more blatant disrespect. In Ohio, that's actually an expression of love. Why don't you go uh, spend some more time there, pal? Sammy in inviting a chop from one of the toughest chops in the country. Oh my goodness. Oh. That'll absolutely cave in your chest cavity. Sammy's face tells the story. He instantly regretted inviting that chop. That is some serious buyer's remorse, that is for sure. The PCW faithful, ultra faithful, asking for ultra wants another one. And you're right, partner, the champ, Pentel Ceromieto, one of the most vicious strikers we have ever seen. And transversely, his tag team partner, the great Muda, is the greatest striker we've ever seen. Audible called there by Penta as Callahan covered up upstairs, but a vicious leg kick. And they have taken Ultra and Callahan out of their game plan. They've got them frustrated. They really are. As Penta now just as fresh as a daisy and Callahan reeling. Tell you what I'd love to see after that leg kick. Maybe a nice little dragon screw from Muda if he gets the tag. Tag is made. Oh, how about this, partner? What a moment. Flashing elbow by the great Muda. <laughs> How's that for a war face? <laughs> I love it. Muda dropping that elbow so viciously that his mask just flew off. And I got to tell you, that elbow is just as good as it was in 1989. And now the STF. Muda up to the task. And can you believe it if Callahan has to tap? Ultra makes the save. How dare you, Todd Kennelly? There is no chance that Sammy Callahan is ever going to tap. You could have a machine gun shooting shots into his temple, and he'll still fight on. Well, a Muda STF is, is just about as lethal, I would, I would wager. Callahan, oh God! <laughs> I think that one was a little south of the border, pal. Indeed, landing that shot right on the groin. And why don't you call that cheap? Huh? When Pentel Cerro Mieto does it, a kick right to the dick, you say nothing. I say you fight fire with fire. Callahan and Ultra attacked him before the bell, got the cheap shot. I think it's expert strategy, Christian Cole. Your strategy, Christian Cole. Your silence speaks volume. Uh, obviously, the official's allowing a lot to go, so why not take advantage? <laughs> 
Penta has got the crowd in the palm of his hand. And Muda playing along, and what a moment again. I mean, this, you just almost wish we could just sit back and enjoy it like all the fans, Christian. It's absolutely been such a great weekend here for PCW Ultra. Our second year anniversary, our relationship with Fight. We're now streaming live across the world on iPay-Per-View. And got to go back to what just happened. That vicious clothesline by Sammy Callahan. That is a strike that he put away Willie Mack with. If you repeat it, and that was awfully close to a shining wizard there. Right in the face of the great Muda. Now the leg drop by Johnny Ultra into the cover, trying to put away the current champion. And that might put the former champ right in the catbird seat for a rematch. Johnny Ultra able to isolate Penta El Cerro Miedo in the middle of the ring. And if Johnny Ultra can do this in a couple of months and potentially a heavyweight championship shot and control the champion this way, he could walk out as PCW heavyweight champion in the near future. Johnny Ultra trying to neutralize the champion. Goes downstairs with the knee. Sunset flip attempt by Penta. Blind tag was made and Callahan takes advantage. Vicious kick to the back of the head. Penta might be out. They say the most dangerous shot is the one you don't see coming, and especially when it's at the hands and the feet of the death machine. They call him the death, the death machine for a reason. As he now manipulates the joint and the small, the small joints of Penta's right hand, that pinky and index finger bending in ways you're not supposed to bend him. Well, he ate those chops earlier. He, he's probably not going to eat any more after this, trying to take away one of those primary weapons. It's a great point. If you could take away the hands and fingers of Pentel Saramieto, how can he even get a tag to his partner, the great Muda? Takes away some of those shots, perhaps. Maybe he can't clasp his hands for the fear factor. Penta driver and a short clothesline by Johnny Ultra. As Callahan and Ultra right now just mauling Pentel Saramieto. And mocking him as well. Love it. And that's exactly what I want to tell these fans every time I see them before and after shows. That one finger salute. Absolute disrespect. You know, and it's such a polar opposite of Penta and Muda. Penta and Muda, they're two of the biggest stars from their homeland. Oh, hey, look, partner, we've seen this yeah, before. Yeah, we sure, we sure have. Sammy Callahan tying Penta El Cerro Miedo's mask to that top rope. A double knot there, and with the assistance of Johnny Ultra. And this leaves you a hell of a choice. Be helpless or unmask, which is the ultimate in disgrace in Lucha Libre. And, and that really puts the champion between a rock and a hard place here, Christian. That's really a good point, Todd. There's no way he's removing that mask, so he's just stuck there. Great thing the veteran... Senior official Rick Knox on, on the case, but Sammy's stopping him. Well, and you'll recall, after losing the title at Refuse to Lose, it was Johnny Ultra who tried to rip the mask right off the face of the newly crowned champion. Look at this. His mask coming untied from the top rope, and Johnny Ultra tying him into the middle rope. Penta doing his best to free himself. And again, the point I was going to make, more total disrespect by Callahan and Ultra. On the flip side, Muda and Penta came out here together. Nobody home. And another shot down low. And I think Callahan's going to be singing the high notes. These fans want to see it as Penta points to his corner where his ally lies in waiting. But not now. Callahan cutting off that attempted tag by Penta, creating distance. Big time shot there by the champ. Oof. That was one hell of a kick from the PCW Ultra Heavyweight Champion, Penta. El Cerro Miedo, both men down now in the middle of the ring. 
The body language by the legend, the great Muda, tells me he wants in this thing, and he's been out on that apron for quite some time. There it is. Yep, Callahan couldn't stop him this time. In comes Johnny Ultra, low drop kick. And again, going downstairs. Muda starting to play the hits. Dragon screw leg whip, I love it. The legend's fired up, and now one for Ultra. The great Muda comes in, and it's vintage Muda. A couple of dragon screw leg locks, leg whips rather, and now figure four in the middle of the ring from the great Muta. Muta's legal. Oh, we've seen Penta do this. Gonna try and disarm Callahan, and meanwhile, Muta was styling and profile, and we mentioned he had won that NWA World Heavyweight title in the past. Shades of the nature boy there. Gotta love to see international wrestling superstars pay homage to one another. Partner, how about that flurry of offense by Muda? Those dragon screws, those low drop kicks. It felt just like Stark 889 all over again. <laughs> I think uh, Starship Pain is gonna be grounded after some of that offense. Whoa, oh, uh -oh. oh no! Meeting of the minds. Now desperation attempt here by Ultra to steal the win. Only a count of two. Penta who controlled the beginning of this match in trouble now. And you gotta take advantage oh, when you're out there. Sling Blade, by, because these two teams, not you're not gonna see a lot in the way of tag team continuity here. No. So you gotta take advantage, try and win it for your team while you're out there, partner. For Penta and Sammy, they just absolutely hate each other. Oh, excuse me, uh, for Sammy, and Johnny Ultra. Well, your first statement was correct as well. That Everybody is, hates yeah, each other. That's actually true too. Except Penda and Mudu who have forged great respect. Callahan, big shot. And eats another one in kind, but Ooh. certainly not kindly. Multiple shots now by the champ. Ooh. And now continuity between Mundo and Callahan, looks, Johnny Ultra, whatever his name is. Yes, sir. Looks like I spoke too soon. Ooh. I don't think I can repeat what the champion said if we had pushed the SAP button, my man. He seemed to invite that shot, and he got a couple kicks. Uh -oh. Blast off. Starship pain. Double pin. Trying to take out their nemesis and Muda in there for the save. Muda's seen enough. Brilliantly, the great Muda comes back into the ring, breaks up the pin. He knows how important this win is in this grudge match for his partner, Penta El Cerro Miedo. And now double yeah. kicks you get to, the, double to the inner thigh. Oh, to the sure. inner thigh. Oh. Completely legal you by Sammy that. Callahan and Johnny Ultra. Double low blow to the legend. And now looking for chairs, looking for equalizers. You, you assume too often. You make an ass out of you and you all the time on this broadcast. Those were clearly legal to the inside thigh. Those are called inside leg kicks, Tom. Mm -hmm. Callahan had eaten some shots to the inside thigh earlier, so I guess turnabout's fair play in this one. Both Callahan and Johnny Ultra with chairs now. Ultra Callahan trying to tune up the band. And Penta has zero fear. Swing and a miss. Ooh. Oh! Whoa! Oh, look at that! Well, that's missed the likes we've never seen. And there we go. Oh, my God. That dragon was breathing fire. Now flip pile driver by Penta. And that's a foreign object that missed. Look out here, Shining Wizard on the mark. Ultra is in deep trouble. Penta driver, one, two, trace. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners. The team of Penta, El Cerro, Miedo, and the Legend.
legendary Green!